It's a lot like the title of our conference, Stories and Solutions. There were girls whom we had worked with who had been rescued by amazing um, organizations. And these girls had the courage to go to the Hill and do a congressional briefing and talk about being bought and sold for sex. Um, they then decided that, you know, all of them had been bought and sold off of Craigslist, off of the adult services section. And we talked to the girls about what they wanted to do around that. And they decided to write an open letter to Craig Newmark to tell their story, to tell Craig Newmark this is what happened to them because of the website, through the website. And so they wrote this really brave, courageous open letter to Craig Newmark. We decided that we didn't want to put it into the newspaper as an op-ed because we didn't want any of their words to be abridged. So we bought an ad in the San Francisco Chronicle, his hometown paper, and placed their letter in that paper, and then did the same thing a month later in the Washington Post. And four weeks later, the site was shut down. The adult services site was shut down. And I think that it really is about the girls being supported and affirmed to tell their stories. Because they had the courage to tell their stories, they created the solution. And even though there are ways in which there are parts of Craigslist still being used, we know that there has been a significant drop in sex ads and trafficking because they shut down the adult services site.